You guys going drag racing? Today on Curry Explained, let's talk about our drag race rear ends. Hey, what's up guys? I'm John Henson from Curry Enterprises and today I want to talk a little bit about drag racing. Drag racing, you're definitely going to be putting a lot of stress on your vehicle, right? So you're going to be making a lot of traction out there. You're, you're launching on a prep surface. You've got a trans brake probably, or you're letting out the clutch real hard. You're going to put the rear end through a lot of shock. When you're drag racing, you really should start thinking about what do I need to upgrade to put up with that shock? Uh, the correct differential for if you're going to go drag racing is going to be a spool. Uh, more than likely, if you're drag racing 100% of the time, like if you're that guy who goes into the trailer, trailers it to the track, and then you know, basically does your, do your passes and then you trailer back home, a spool is perfect for that. If you're the guy who's gonna be driving to the track, then probably wanna consider a differential, something like a Detroit Locker, which is also available in 35 spline. Specific drag cars, you definitely wanna upgrade the axle shaft, so think about that. 31 spline, mm, probably not well equipped for that. Definitely wanna consider 35 or 40 spline if you're going drag racing. Specifically speaking about the housing, well, if you're gonna be back half in a car, you probably want something like our F9 housing. Bent sheet metal fabrication like this is gonna add a lot of rigidity to the housing center. This is a you know, 3 16 thick sheet metal, and then we've got our remachined and our thick plate here that your third member bolts to. The face plate needs to be thicker and it also needs to be remachined, which is what we do when we manufacture housings like this. The reason why we do that is we want that third member to go on square and not have any stress on it when it gets bolted down. You bolt that third member on and if it needs to tweak and torque on there, well, then basically you're gonna put that case under stress, you're messing with the gear setup, and everything's already under load as it should not be just driving down the track. Um, this is actually well equipped with our lightened back brace. It's gonna add rigidity to the housing. Where does that come into play? Basically, if you're hanging the front wheels off the ground and you're twisting up your chassis, if you make that kind of traction and that kind of power and your forelink is welded to the tube, this thing wants to twist. That's when you're gonna necessitate a back brace. If the housing sees any kind of twisting motion because the chassis is gonna be twisting up a lot, the back brace is gonna help this not move. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to prevent things from twisting or making movement, right? Is if, if the housing or the third member and the axle shafts are all twisting, that's when things break and we're trying to prevent any kind of failures. So this is gonna be our three inch diameter tube. There are gonna be options in a three and a half inch diameter tube and this can be custom built. Beautiful thing about this style of housing too, when ordered in raw, is you can weld to it. If you have four link brackets or leaf springs that need to be welded in a specific application because you're building something custom in the back end, you're gonna be able to weld your brackets to this. Uh, if you needed something a specific width, they can be ordered in half inch increments directly from Curry Enterprises. We list them on our website. If you don't see a width there that you're looking for, please reach out to us and we'll be able to custom build you something. If you have any questions in regards to what is gonna be the correct rear end for your drag race application, call us at Curry. We're the experts. We'll be able to walk you through what the options are and what we would suggest for your application based on how you're building your car. Feel free to also send us an email or leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.